Hi, everyone. Thank you for joining us today. Uh, full moon, the second full moon of the 2024. And uh, Linda and uh, Natalia and uh, Jennifer, welcome. Thank you. So today, uh, today we're going to do our usual because last one, last one, somehow we didn't get a recording. So we cannot post it on the YouTube. So whoever was not here, then uh, there's no way to watch it, you know, mm -hmm. but uh, you get the, you get the energy, you know, but uh, yeah. So today we, again, we're going to start off, start off uh, the connecting with your dragon and then we'll do a guided meditation first. So it kind of a, uh, draw everybody in focus on this uh, you know meditation uh, session uh, for the with the full moon today you know so if you like uh, can you take a few deep breaths and then slowly close your eyes and calling call in your dragon companion your dragon companions Come forward and then meet you and play with you. And then uh, we're going to have a journey together. Take another deep breath. Focus on your heart chakra. Feel with your heart. Feel the energy, feel the vibration. Feel the surrounding with your heart. You can feel the softness. You can feel the unconditional love coming from the source of the universe. Coming down and bathe you like a baby. You feel the love. Take another deep breath. Now we also focus on our third eye chakra. Feeling your third eye chakra, see the light, see the vibration, see the energy. And I feel the unicorn just popping. So today we're going to have a unicorn and a dragon with us today. So whoever you like, you would like to write on, go for it. They will be together with you. Okay. So if your unicorn show up, this is the first time that you reconnect with uh, your unicorn. Just uh, feel your unicorn, feel the color of your unicorn. And then you can use your chin to touch your unicorn's face or the neck or the body. And you can see and feel the color of your unicorn. Your unicorn has wings and some may not have wings. And a unicorn has a unicorn, the horn on top of the, the forehead. Feel the color of the eyes. Feel the color of the body. Okay. And also your dragon companion with you Together, we're going up. Quickly, we're on top of Mount Shasta. Look down the beautiful mountain with the snow covered, pristine, and very calm. The full moonlight reflect on the snow. 
make it look so beautiful, so peaceful and serene. Okay, now we're going up. Going up and we're going up and up. We're leaving the Mother Earth. We're now in the galaxy. There's so many other teammates, so many other guardians with their dragon, with their unicorn, they're waiting for us to again continue our work to enhance the great work for the Mother Earth, the crystal line good, the rainbow good, the flower of light good, outside of a Mother Earth. So now each individual of us, together with your team, your dragon and unicorn team, you're looking down at the Mother Earth and looking for the places, the grid, may not be bright enough or maybe blinking. So those are the places that you like to go ahead and then infuse the energy, the healing energy, the unconditional love energy, to enhance the work in that location. So continue to do this. Once you're done with the one location, you can move up to, move on to the second one, the next one. Meanwhile, remember to having fun together. We do this as a joy, as an enjoyment, so we can bring in more relaxation energy, more positive vibration to help the Mother Earth enhance and be, increase the vibration, moving up into 50 by D. So we circle around Mother Earth, all the light workers, all the guardians work together as a team, individually, continue to support, to repair, our grid system. So we continue to feel the energy coming back from the Mother Earth. Mother Earth re reply to us, feedback to us, to appreciate our support. So this 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 round of uh, gathering, supporting the Mother Earth, enhance the grid is coming to an end.
and we're come, we're going down back to the mother earth and go back to uh, Mount Shasta on the on the top of Mount Shasta and we landed on this uh Bunny flat. And you safely come down off your unicorn or dragon. And you feel the snow. You feel the pu purification. From the mountain, from the snow. Okay, now remember, you can call up on your dragons or unicorn anytime. When you're doing meditation, if you like to connect with them, ask them for guidance and support, protection, feel free to do so anytime. They're with you. as soon as you call up on them. Okay, now we can say goodbye temporary to our dragon companions and unicorn companions. And thank you, thank them for showing up and thank them for supporting and escorting. Oh, now we go back to our body and where your physical body is. Take a deep breath. Center yourself. Come back to your body. And take another deep breath. When you're ready, you can open your eyes. All right, so that was uh, my part of a guided meditation. Oh, Luis. <laughs> I told you. I sent him a text message about before we start. So he must just saw it. Can you, I can think, you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. Welcome. Here we go. I'm so sorry. Is the time difference got me all screwed up? Oh, well, that's okay. We were screwed up for about 15 minutes. We were on. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, seriously, we we're on a different link. You're kidding. So I don't know, Marla was going to be here, and so was Janet and a few other people. But you're here now, Lewis. Welcome to the full moon in I Virgo. Set I set the alarm, and it was upstairs. I was with my family watching a movie. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> I guess it's one of those funny full moon nights, you know? Yeah. <laughs> so, so, yeah, we just have a meditation, a guided meditation. Today, actually, a uh, unicorn pop up. So uh, that was kind of interesting, you know. Uh, so we did our our routine to go out of uh, Mother Earth in the galaxy and then patch the uh, 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 Earth grid to enhance and then, you know, make it stronger and then in enhance and then increase the vibration. Yeah. So, uh, Linda, do we want them to share first, or we can do that? Well, day? why don't one of the things that you were going to do, and then I'll do a little journey, and then we'll share. Okay. Um, you were going to do the activation and talk about it, and have the crystals, and have people send you crystals. Oh, okay. Yeah, last time I talked about the experience that I have. Uh, 
back in 2015 uh, in Big Island. And then I'm going to kind of uh, repeat a little bit quickly. So, you know, I know Natalia was not here, so you missed that part. So 2015, the day before I came back, uh, my host invite me to go there like a potluck by the uh, by the ocean, by the beach. And then I was just there and then all of a sudden I look look at the ocean and I feel the, the Madame Pe Pele, uh, Goddess Pele came through. Like uh, strongly, I, in my inner vision, I can saw it, I can see it. So I just sit down, I, there's a big rock right, right, be, right next to me. So I just sit down, close my eyes and I saw the, uh, there's a light bridge coming up from the big island and then connect to the next island, which I think is Maui, and then connect another island further up. So all the way to the the garden garden island, I think the, the one up north, the the far farthest north island. And then the light bridge, you know, it's like an arc, light bridge coming down from the Farther, further north uh, island coming back um, below the water, under the water. So it's like a, you know, it's like a making the bridge, like connecting all the all the islands. It's like an activation uh, through me. I don't know. I didn't expect that. But it just happened. And I actually just, I, back then, I, I tried to paint it on the, on, on the canvas, but I, I didn't think I could do it, but because this past several, couple of years, I started doing the digital art. So I actually, I actually, uh, before last uh, new moon, I actually finished that, you know, even I have an animation, you know, uh, digital on, on the iPad, I show last, yet last time. Uh, but since uh, we got screwed up with the recording, so, you know, it's, I cannot post it on YouTube, but uh, I was guided to uh, share that again. So it's an activation. And also I was guided to go Big Island again, uh, doing the uh, spring Econa. So a couple of days ago, I talked to uh, Linda. I mentioned to Linda about that. I, I, today I'm gonna ask if you have any, if you have any crystal you think they're, they finish their journey with you and then ready to go back to uh, Mother Earth from Big Island area. You can send it to me because I'm going there. Uh, my fly is March 18. So if you, you can, you know, talk to your crystal or whatever. And then if you think you have some crystal that they're ready to go back to Mother Earth, then you can send it to me before then. And I will take it there. I'll I'll do a video when I you know, you know, put it in the water or whatever you know. So that's the uh, message I got a couple of days ago. I share with the Linda. Linda say, oh, that's a very good idea because uh, ever since I started the journey with the Mount Shasa, I did that. Even when I went back to Taiwan, uh, twenty twelve, I. You know, I have some crystal, very nice crystal. I just, you know, would go to uh, the, uh, the ocean, you know, and then just put it in, you know, something like that. And also when I have a retreat group in Mount Shasta, some of the uh, people from the group, they also buy crystal and then just put in the, like a moss spray for the water, just put it in like even a crystal ball, very nice crystal ball. <laughs> They, they just put it in. So it's like a return, returning those uh, crystals uh, back to Mother Earth, which I think is very good. Uh, so that's why I'm sh I share here today. And if you feel that you have some crystal is ready to re go back, return back to the Mother Earth from a big island area, then you can co contact me and I'll give you my address. And... Yeah, put it on the YouTube. Okay, yeah. 
Okay, I'll, I'll put it on a YouTube, but you know. Or, just, or say it now, and then you can repeat it. Yeah. Oh, you mean the uh, the address? No, it's okay. I'll, I'll do that later because. Okay. You no, know, I don't. I don't want you to try to write it down. Yeah. Okay, so that's my part today, and Linda, here you go. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll do a little journey, and we'll go up on the mountain. But what I really want you to do is to really not only think about the full moon, but as of the 28th, it's an end of a cycle, a 30-year cycle. So think about where you were in the early 90s and think about how you're going to complete this cycle and really set boundaries to your new cycle. So that's kind of where we are. And, you know, the full moon is what's happening now, but that's even a bigger part of the full moon because we're moving into a new time and we're going to get a different type of clarity of what that might mean. Now, tonight we probably don't know because we're in process. Obviously, we had trouble getting on. So, okay, well, what I'm going to do is I want you to just kind of, can you hear my drum a little bit? Yes? Okay. Because I have, anyway. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to pull in the light and we're going to pull in the golden light and be grounded to Mother Earth and bring it in and have it go around our ankles and going up our legs, going deeper and bringing that golden light in, clearing any kind of discord that's in our body. Anything that's even confusion or anything going around our knees, going up into our thighs. And with each beat of the drum, we're just going to feel that golden light being connected to Mother Earth and going into our first chakra, our root chakra, and seeing it as bright red. And if it's not a bright red, I want you to spin it like a top and see if you can make it brighter and more, you know, so our childhood issues are clearing and feeling the power of just being rooted to Mother Earth and feeling the beauty of we're alive, we're on this call and just knowing that we are being blessed in this full moon in Virgo. And then going up to the sacral chakra, seeing that as orange, like an orange. And again, if it's not bright orange, I want you to spin it around. And we're taking that golden light up through our body. And if there's any discord, we're just going to clear it and bless it. And thank our bodies that we are still in our bodies. So a lot of people have left Earth. And we're just sitting here doing this meditation going up into our solar plexus and seeing that as bright yellow like the sun. And again, if it's not as clear as you'd like it, I want you to spin it so you can get clear. Because the chakra balancing this year is, I've been doing this chakra balancing since before the pandemic, and it really gives you a lot of clarity and connecting and kind of being in your body even more and really thinking about each chakra and the importance of it and then going up into your heart and seeing your heart is Kelly Green and again if it's not Kelly Green just spin it until you can get there and what I want to talk about our hearts through this pandemic what we have learned and the breath work and you know even the dragon is we're learning how to love ourselves and really the importance of being alive and loving ourselves and how significant that is, you know, loving even those little idiosyncrasies and those parts of our life that we're not really proud of, but we did it and here we are. And then feeling that golden light going across your back and clearing any discord that is not of the highest good because we're moving into this time, a very powerful time, and now going up into your throat chakra <clears throat> and seeing that as turquoise. And really understanding, as we moved into 2024, the importance of our communication. And not wasting our words or trying to convince people of whatever. Or being codependent and really feeling that, you know, we've got to take care of them and talk to them and support them. I want you to really start thinking about if that's really necessary. What I've done since I've started this meditation, what I've learned... And I support people doing is I say to myself don't talk because sometimes it's really not beneficial for myself or anybody else to 
share that communication and there's other times that it's very beneficial so we have to start really putting our power into our words and deciding what's important and what isn't important and taking this golden light and going across your shoulders down your arms around your elbows and into your hands and I'm always in gratitude with our hands that we're able to use our hands for a computer reading artwork whatever it is and just feel the golden light pulsating through every cell of your body and then going into your crown chakra seeing the violet flame and connecting to the ethers and really understanding the importance of your spiritual life and why we're still moving forward we're alive and we're vibrant and we're seeing ourselves and seeing our chakras and the power of them and then going over the top of your head to your third eye and that's the other one that has really um, opened up differently because our third eye, we are seeing the world as it is, not the rose-colored glasses. We're seeing things, and we're seeing things, you know, we go, wow, did I see that right? Oh, no, 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 and I'm seeing it, I'm seeing truth now. And really appreciate that, because it's really an important time to really understand the importance of seeing it as it is, not how we want it. And feeling that golden light pulsating with each beat of the drum. And in front of you, there are five stairs. We're going to go up to this place called Panther Meadows, or it can be any spiritual place or garden that you go to through meditation. And we're going to check out and see what shows up, what message comes for each one of us, the importance of it. And starting up with each beat of the drum, one, going deeper, and seeing yourself in this golden light, two, going deeper and more powerful, three, there. Four and five. And just start going up and seeing where you're at and just feeling the energy of it. One of the people that always shows up at this meditation is Wayne Dyer and Ram Dass. And he's here in a khaki shirt, you know, a white shirt and khaki pants. And Ram Dass is backing them up. So just be with yourself as I drum. And just see what the universe message has for you on this full moon. Virgo moon, second moon of 2024. What does the universe want to tell you? Or maybe it just wants to love you. Meadow, there's a fire going. And we'll go down to the fire when we're just about complete. Look around and see who shows up. Is any relatives from the other side here? Okay. Is there any kind of message? Is there angels or guides? Your special guide might be here to give you a message. See yourself kind of in the halo, almost like a mist that's going around your body, raising your vibration like the golden light, and just feeling the power of being in this sacred place. It could be your garden or Panther Meadows or Machu Picchu, or it could be Fuji. It could be any special place that you're you feel the power of who you really are and what did you come here to do in this lifetime? And what does that mean from here on out? I think we're taking on some pretty big wishes. It's like reaching, activating, and doing this. We, have, we all have um, chores that we need to do while we're still alive. And what does that mean? So I'm just going to drum for a minute. If you have any message, or is any message coming to you? Or maybe your dragon gave you a message since we started. It doesn't have to be at this moment. It can be just, maybe you got a message earlier tonight. So 
So did, does anybody have any message that you'd like to share with the group? I'm getting is keep doing what you're doing. Keep moving forward. Don't be as discouraged. You can do it. I'm talking to you also, Lewis. Thank you, Linda. Thank you, Linda. Pardon me? I said thank you. Can you hear oh, me? Oh, yeah. Yeah, don't get discouraged. On a healing journey. Thank you for sharing that. I shared that at that uh, meeting I went to. Thank you. Thank you. Well, I think it's important for all of us to ask for help as we're going into this new time. I agree. After, after a lifetime of giving help, it's time to start accepting it. The balance of everything balances. Right. So does anybody else have anything they'd like to share before we go to the fire? be shy. You probably have a good message. <laughs> okay, we'll go down to the fire. So when, I, when you get close to the fire, I'm a fire person. I like the fire. And I want you to take the fire in. And I want you to feel the power of the fire. But more importantly, one of the things that we're, as we're in transition in 2024, the vulnerability is where the real power is. The ability to share and to be close to people and to be honest in doing that. And when you're standing by the fire, at first you like, you know, the heat and it's exciting and it's powerful. But when you really tune into the vulnerability, things can be scary and not as comfortable. And that's really where the power is. The most powerful leaders are pretty vulnerable when you get to know them. So just take that fire in and feel it through every cell of your body. And as we move into the new year and this full moon and this transition that's happening on the 28th, uh, going out of a sign that it's been in for 30 years. What were you doing 30 years ago? Let's start anew, right? And just take that fire in Feel the vulnerability of all those places we've been in 30 years, like yikes. And we thank the fire, and we thank our guides and our angels and just our bodies for showing up and being here. Really important to commit as we move forward in 2024. So starting back, starting at five, coming back in, feeling refreshed and remembering and really touching on maybe those um, those messages you got that maybe you didn't want to share. Three, coming back in. Two, and one. Oh! Yeah. Thank you. So, why don't we do a little sharing here about what's going on in your lives besides tonight that you'd like to share where are you in this journey and where do you live where are you <laughs> hey i'd like to share something i've i'm realizing that we are here for a reason we're powerful with the love that we have in our hearts and we have to spread the love to everything, everyone. I agree. I hope. I hope. Well, that's that's why that heart thing is so powerful. You know, and like I said, I've been doing it for three years when the pandemic started and there's a couple people, we've consistently done it. But when you really start understanding the heart and the breath and how important it is while we're alive, we're here. You know, so thank you. I agree completely. Oh, uh -huh. uh -huh. yeah. 
And where 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 are you? Yeah. Where are you? I'm in Sedona area. Oh, nice. Sedona. So yeah. you're used to all this stuff. About <laughs> three miles outside of Sedona, but the red rocks. And you were talking about the crystals in Hawaii. I have a, a a client in Japan who sent me a stone from Japan. Said go put it in the water in the creeks out there. And I had to send him a stone from the Red Rocks to send back to Japan that was in the water. So that was fun. The energy was, you know, miles away, but it was connected. But we're all connected in a beautiful way. That, that story reminded me of the time that I took water from Mount Shasta headwaters to Mount Fuji and put it into a sacred pool and brought water from Mount Fuji back to the headwaters, and we had this ceremony to put it into the pool there. Wow, awesome. mm -hmm. <laughs> so this is what a lot. This is what light workers are doing: taking the the, the yeah. crystals and the water and transferring them across. Thank you, Lewis. Lewis is in Michigan. Oh, yeah. old up there now, huh? <laughs> Not really. It's a very mild winter. The, the really? Weather's gonna be, it's gonna wow. be, yes, the weather is going to be 50 degrees tomorrow. 50. Today it was 62 Amazing. in Mount Shasta. Wow, that's warm for Shasta too. For February, it's warm. Yeah. It's a very mild winter. Yeah, here in Cupertino, uh, this past couple days, uh, I feel like it's summertime, you know, during the day, you can wear the t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> hey, did you have any um, incidents with flooding in your area recently, or is that lower than Cupertino? I think it's lower than Cupertino, yeah. Mm, okay. Where are you from, dear? Jennifer? Oh, hi. I, I'm, I'm hearing, but I'm not hearing as well, so I was just... No, I was talking to the other lady. I don't, I can't see her name. So you're in Sedona. What's her name? No. Nadia. 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 Where, where are you from? Um, Nadia. Natalia. 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 I'm from Sedona. Yeah. Okay, I'm great. In, um, I'm in Maryland. I'm in the cold region right now. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> and of course we're um uh, we're on the east so it's like 10 o'clock here where you guys are just getting your evening started <laughs> but this was a beautiful ceremony oh thank you thank you i just want to tell you um i i'm not telling many people this but i went to a sweat lodge today and there was myself and another woman and seven medicine men, all about the same age. There's only one, Sean was the youngest. Everybody else was, I would say, 60s, 70s, but they were all medicine men, meaning big and nice men, nice men. So that was sort of the opening to the ceremony that we're doing tonight. Okay. Yeah, I, I, was, I felt very lucky because it was a very deep ceremony. Um, it kind of, um, a lot to think about. And also what I like about this particular group is they're very aware, we have some Vietnam vets, so they're very aware of the world situation and the way they pray about it. It's, it's like we're putting light into it and we want peace, you yeah. know. It's not the, you know, negativity, yeah. you know. Yes, and I'm on the East Coast here where I get all the negativity. <laughs> so you got to work it out. Work oh. it out. It's a lot. It's a lot. Well, and it's it, it's it, part of it is also the dark energy. Yes. That people are, are in mind control and they're absolutely uh, oblivious to it. Yes. You know, it, that's like the throat chakra. Don't, don't argue with them. Don't talk to them. Oh, I don't. <laughs> I, I know, I own. know. It uh, goes in one ear and it comes out the next. <laughs> yeah. Well, and it's an important part of our conversation because we as light workers, that's our job. 
this is what we're supposed to do is to bring light into these situations you know that is that is correct that is true so what do you think uh eching okay uh during uh during your your part of a guided meditation you talk about fire and then uh i just want to show you the background i have is the the one the digital r i just finished a couple days ago and this is the whole picture and actually the title of this one is uh, offering to madame pele just meet goddess pele so you know when you go to hawaii a lot of people they have this tradition tradition that you know they will offer something to uh the uh goddess pele you know uh and so i don't know somehow i just uh, guided like a started another one and i finished it within two days so it came out this one like uh you know you can feel the volcano you can feel the fire like you just say you guided us to go into the fire and i guess there's no accident i i put up this uh this as my background is kind of uh, oh you mean behind you i was gonna say yeah, where behind is it? Me. yeah this one the oh. one uh you can see right now and yeah i named this one is a uh, offering to goddess pele so because she's also uh related uh with the fire and volcano you know so the background color the red and the yellow the orange is like a volcano like a fire yeah and at the center it looks like uh, the plants the greens that in in hawaii you know uh, the greens so i think that's very very good that it's all the synchronization nowadays is very obvious everywhere yeah so yeah that's what what i want to share yeah and i can feel the very strong energy today throughout our session it's very good and i thank you everyone for participating and being part of this and we uh, we're going to you know all more people to join us yeah if, if we give them the right link that would be help <laughs> sorry it's my fault <laughs> i'll make sure i get it right well that's okay i i use the one you sent me yeah but i think there's a reason for it you know, no, I know. There's always a reason, but I, I'm just saying. So, yeah. yeah. But yeah, next time, you know, one step at a time, we're going to fix this, this time, fix that the other time. And eventually we're going to get uh, fully engaged, you know, so we have more and more people join us. Right. Well, it's, it's an important time that w with both gals are saying of the light workers to doing that and gathering and just keep holding that space even if it's just you know on the full moon and the new moon and our meditation in between because we, we want to be a part of the change we're alive we're here right <laughs> okay well why don't we go ahead and complete i don't know where iching went he comes and goes <laughs> okay oh there well, here he is again okay <laughs> oh, where'd you go yeah he's not on yeah my knees just call me so i have to oh oh, oh you gotta go okay that's okay well you just okay we lost so, you for a minute and now you're back okay okay, okay well thank you everybody and see you on the new moon and yes, let me know, please share what has changed when we go into the 28th. If, if you can kind of get it together as to what are you letting go of, what was different, and what are we moving towards. By the new moon, we might have a little idea, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it might be only a little idea, but thank you. Okay. All right. you. Thank you, everyone. Uh -huh. We'll see Blessing. you next time. Blessing. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye. Bye.